Whippy will get the all-important lead in this one thanks to Bryce Getman. That is a cannon of a shot, one to nothing as he unloads there. A Dawson Thede's going to follow that up with a heavy shot of his own on the power play. It is a two to one lead for the Warriors. A Brampton on a power play now. Jeff T charges the goal. He outweighs Joel Watson and puts it home. That's going to make it three to two now for the Warriors. Tyler Smith had several good saves including this one here on Dawson Fee. Didn't even know about that ball. Jake Boudreau can't control the ball here. Bennett Drake, he's going to collect that one and pounces and scores to add to the Whitby lead. Second period now, Feed he is having a game. Burst towards goal, shows great patience and scores. That makes it 6-4. to four. Excelsior's bounce back. Teat finds Riley Curtis. He avoids the crease, make it 6-6. Warriors would regain the lead. Connor Kiernan to Tanner Cook. He puts it home. 7-6 now for Whitby. The second period would come to an end with some fireworks. Justin Lemke and Matt Vince, they are going to go helmets off. That is a battle Vince would not give up and they exchange punch after punch. Before the teams hit the dressing room, they trade for goals. First, it's Yetman for the Warriors, followed by Tyson Gibson. It's a one goal game headed to the third period where it was time for the goalies to shine. Big stops at both ends of the floor. Excelsiors would hit for three quick goals, including this one the Warriors will claim never went in. They may have a point, but there is no doubting this one from Tyler McKay. That is an absolute laser and Brampton lead for the first time in this game. It's only a one goal lead in this game thanks to Joel Watson who gets across here to deny Tyson Gibson. That's a big time save. Feed continues to be a one man wrecking crew. His fourth goal of the night ties the game at 10 and that's going to set the stage for a Warriors win as they would dominate the final 11 minutes of the game. They retake the lead here. Wham, bam, thank you, Nick Karam. They're back out in front. Tanner Cook with the nice setup, who will then score a goal of his own. Brendan Lundy scores his first Junior A playoff goal as well, and the Warriors are just rolling. Lots of elements involved in this one. Starts with Connor Laird, a big defensive stuff on Tyson Gibson. That will dislodge the ball. Laird then fights off Clark Patterson. Jordan McCullough scoops, he's off and running. Brampton wanted a crease call on that goal. They certainly had a case, but Whitby will take it. And they'll also take the game by a score of 15 to 10. This series is tied up at one game apiece. Yeah, I was just getting to the middle and my teammates were clearing space and I was just finishing my chances. So we got to stay out of the box. They, got, they probably got the best power play in the league and uh, that's what killed us in Brampton the other night. <laughs> 